Greetings. I am Herbert Erbaderb, and the most recent group build over on my Discord server has just ended. A new one will begin soon, the topic of which is yet to be determined. The subject of the now finished group build was Eastern Europe, which seems pretty self-explanatory. So before I start waffling too much, how about we check out the completed entries? First up, Derfuxus submitted this plane. More specifically, it's a MiG-25 RBT Foxbat B. It's painted up as Red 04 of the Soviet Air Force from Kryzyawa, Poland. Yep, I'm sure said that correctly. The model is a 72nd scale kit from Ravel, and it's a rebox of an ICM kit. Derfux said the kit went together fairly well, though there were some minor fit issues. Derfux is fairly happy with the result, which is good. It looks really nice. I think taking pictures of it outside has really helped make the model look even more convincing. Very nice work. Monol's entry is an IS-2 of the Czechoslovak 1st Tank Brigade. This is a 48th scale model from Tamiya, and it's the first time Monol has painted a tank with a winter camouflage. This one is imagined to be on a snowless winter's day, thus there isn't any actual snow on the tank, and it's muddy. Monol says painting a winter camo scheme isn't much different from painting a regular tank, but it does make you question your weathering choices. It is of course good to question your choices, but I do think you've made good choices here. Very nicely done. Peter Enko's entry is a truck. More specifically, it's a Tatra. Tatra? I don't know. 813S1. This is an 87th scale model from SDV model. Peter Enko is from Slovakia and wanted a model to represent something local and old. The build was plagued with issues and the model is quite old, and it showed. There were fit issues, a lot of flash, and unclear instructions. Boy do I know how unclear instructions feel. Anyway, Peter Enko persisted and pushed through and got the model done. And while they are not the happiest with it, and say it doesn't deserve a diorama, I don't think it's that bad, and I think you did a pretty good job of what you had. Samoa submitted this Iraqi T-62M, which seems to be suffering from some sort of catastrophic event. This is a 72nd scale kit from Esky slash Ertl, or ESCI slash ERTL, I don't know how you're supposed to say that. I'm just going to read out the info I was given, because who better to tell Samoa's tale than Samoa? I always wanted to dip my brush into making a diorama. After a year of trying and failing, I finally did my first one from scrap foam. Destroyed tanks has always intrigued me. Like the saying goes, they're metal coffins. So I decided to give this model a second life. I bought it cheap for just six bucks and now I know why. The fitting was really awful and the instructions were chaotic. Although I seemed to find it somewhat entertaining and toiling myself to make a better result, this was also my first time doing a full-on paintbrush tank with water-based paints. It was a quite fun and arduous ride, and I'm glad it worked out well in the end. Here's another T-62, this time from Trekan Belovich. This one is a 72nd scale trumpeter kit, and it's been painted to represent a tank belonging to the first Hammurabi? Hammurabi? Hammurabi, Armoured Division, Iraqi Republican Guard. I quite like the way the separation between the two colours has been done. It looks like it was painted with a brush. I mean, I assume Trekan did paint this with a brush, but it looks like he's brush painted a representation of brush painting on the model. Does that make any sense? I think you know what I mean, and I think it looks really good. This is not the only entry that Trekan submitted. The second entry, as you might guess, is a pair of T-80s, and a bonus UAZ-469. Nice. These are 285th scale models from GHQ, and they're painted rather nicely. They are based for Team Yankee, and the UAZ indicates the platoon leader. I think that's a really creative way to show a leader. And here they are compared with the T-62. It's very subtle, but they are, in fact, different scales. You're so funny, Herbert. Mm-hmm. Vetron X submitted this T90 MS. This is a 35th scale kit from Tiger Models, which is a manufacturer that I'm unfamiliar with, but Vetron X says that the build was amazing and is comparable to a modern Trumpeter or Tamiya kit, and that sounds good to me. The tank is painted in modern Russian sand camo, and it was Vetron's first time painting details and adding washers. 
they didn't have the correct shade of orange, my notes seem confused about orange. Anyway, I'm not one to be picky about historically accurate colours, and I think it looks pretty decent, especially for someone who's new to things like washers. Keep up the good work. Okay, so that was all of the entries in this group build. I hope everyone had a good time with their builds. The results are great, and seeing the results is probably my favourite part. I know there was at least one person who didn't get their entry done in time, I hope they had fun as well, and even though it wasn't finished in time for the group build, surely you'll still end up with a cool model, and that's what really matters. At the time of writing this, it's suggestion time for the next group build. Suggestions do close on the 4th of December though, so either get in or I'm sorry you missed out, whichever is most applicable. If you've got a suggestion, or you'd like to take part in the next group build or any other future group builds, you can do so over on my Discord server, the link for which is in the description below. There's a special section for group builds, and it's pretty easy to find. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, though if they are group build related, they'd probably be better off in Discord. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe here on YouTube? It costs nothing and it's really, really cool. Or if you have the means and you want to be extra cool and see my videos a little bit early before there's any ads, consider becoming a patron. You can find links to Patreon and all of my other things like Discord and social media in the description below. As always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching. Farewell.